So welcome back to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about JDBC two tier and three tier architecture. So let us begin with the discussion with the two tier architecture. So in the two tier architecture, we are having the two tiers. One is client tier and the database tier that is DBMS tier. So client tier is having the two components, namely a client and the JDBC driver. So the client is the first tier in the two tier model which is connected to the JDBC and the database tier which is a persistent data store that is the permanent data store which may resides on the same machine or different machine. When the database tier resides on the different machine in that situation the client this architecture can be termed as an client server configuration because client is on the one machine and the database is on the another machine serving as a database server so client can send the request to the database and the database can receive the request and process the received request and send back back the result to the client so database here acting as a server which accepts request and send some results okay so if you think about this tier as in a two level so first level is a client tier and the second database uh, management system as in a second layer so first layer is having a client as well as the JDBC driver so here we can actually see this is in order your JDBC driver. So this client can interact to the database through the JDBC driver. When database receives the query or commands from the client, it processes the commands and sends back the result to the client tier. So this is nothing but the two tier architecture. Now try to understand how this two tier architecture is in the block representation. So this diagram actually shows the block representation of two tier architecture. So client application that is nothing but our Java application can communicate with the database management system through the JDBC driver. So we are uh, already familiar with the working of JDBC. So in this case so client application and JDBC forms a first tier and database server or the database actually is a second tier. So because of the, these two levels or two layers, this architecture is called as a two tier architecture. Now we'll try to understand the JDBC three tier architecture. So in this uh, diagram, we can we are having three tiers that is three levels so client level client gui application server and database server or database now client can interact with the application server through the your web browser or the servlet and your java applications resides on the application server and then this application server can communicate to the database and this database will performs the request and send, send back the result to the application server and again application server sends back the result to the client. So this is how the, this three tier architecture works. So Java API, this your JDBC API actually supports two tier process process model model and three tier process model for data access so if you see uh, from the block uh, block diagram point of view the client application is nothing but your uh, browser over here or servlet in this case and your java application resides on the application server and then it can communicate to the database through the JDBC driver. So how this block diagram can be divided into the three tiers? Let's see. So your client application that is nothing but your browser or 
servlet is a first tier which can communicate to the application server and uh, this application server is nothing but your second tier and then this application server forwards the message sent by the client application to the database and the database is actually forming the third tier so these are the different tiers which actually supported by the JDBC API.